Alright, hello everyone. We are back. And I am actually quite farther in the game than when we were when we left off, so I now have, you know, better armor and stuff. Um, kind of the reason why well, I haven't actually recorded any Oblivion in like four days, but I've still I still wanted to play it, and the reason why I haven't recorded any is because I had already nine episodes ready to upload and I've just been uploading one a day because if I upload any more than that, they don't get any views. So I don't know. I might start switching to two a day just so I can, you know, go through this a bit faster. But I am now level 22. When I left off, I was like level 12, 14, want to say, something like that. But anyway, I've been pretty close to maxing out my intelligence, which is governs my total Magica, which is really handy. Uh, I'm working on my willpower, agility, and I guess as a secondary strength. So the strength, intelligence, willpower, and agility, those are the only ones I really care about maxing out. The rest, I don't care. I don't care about luck, personality, endurance, or speed. Really don't care if I never max those out, which I probably won't. But anyway, I debated going into the Dark Brotherhood since we have finished the Mage's Guild, but I have decided against it. What I've decided to do instead is we're going to start on the Daedra quest. So I've already done one. I have done the Nocturnal quest, obviously. Uh, I think I showed that in like episode three or something. But um, yeah, we're going to start on the Daedra quest, so all the ones other than the Nocturnal quest so let's see you dare come here to the shrine of our Lord? yeah I'm not an orc so they don't appreciate that I guess you haven't heard we don't like these beautiful people but maybe you can persuade me your ugly inside uh, say what you're going to say can I persuade you by bribing you see was that you're not one of Malakop's favorite people he likes orcs too bad for you Okay, I'm going to approach this shrine. I'm going to try to let people talk a little bit more, so if it sounds important, I'll just shut up and let them talk. I'm not sure if the game volume is actually high enough for that, so really quick, I am just going to turn up the game volume a little bit. Because I know uh, in the previous videos, my voice is a lot louder than the actual game volume itself. So, there we go. You can actually hear the music a little bit now. I don't have the proper offering. What does he want? You've been told. No, I haven't. <laughs> what do I have to bring him? You've been told. Yeah, I've been told to approach the shrine, but uh, he needs some kind of offering. I'm not sure, 100 percent, what that offering is. But um, yeah, most of the uh, Daedric guys, you have to bring them like some kind of offering. So, did I get that activated as a quest? Oh. Troll fat. Okay. He did tell me what I had to do, so I accidentally skipped through that dialogue. I thought he was just uh, yammering on about nothing important. But I can go get some troll fat. I have tons and tons of alchemy ingredients, as you guys will see in just a second here. I'm also working on my mysticism a little bit. Uh, mysticism isn't even one of my major skills, but I've been working on it because I want to max out uh, intelligence, and you need to well, if you train mysticism, it levels up your intelligence when you level up. So anyway, he needs some troll fat, so I should have plenty of that. I should have, but I don't. Uh, maybe I used the troll fat last time I did alchemy. Huh, that is a problem. I think I know where we can go and kill some trolls, though. If you guys remember the, um, what was it, the nocturnal quest, Tidewater Cave. We're going to go back there, kill a troll really fast, get some troll fat. Yeah, I think I used up all my troll fat last time I did alchemy, so now I have none left. But there should be a troll around here somewhere. And if we can't find him, we can always just go in the cave. But I have been trying my best to uh, like pick up all the ingredients every time I do alchemy now. Where are you? <laughs> I guess we can just go in Tidewater Cave, but I swear there was a troll wandering around here somewhere. Monsters do respawn, so... There, good. There's a troll. Switch to my bow. Come on. Oh, I think I unbinded my bow because I sold one of the ebony bows. Okay, there we go. I also got a better summoning monster, so I can now I now conjure a faded wraith. Um, I did a whole ton of shopping off camera and kind of upgraded some of my spells and stuff. But anyway, yeah. Now I've been conjuring a faded wraith. With Faded Wraith, which is much, much, much stronger than um, the crappy old, what was it, that I was using. 
Oh, he discovered me. I was going to sneak and hit him in the back with an arrow. But I used to be using uh, a scamp. That was it. And that was really not, not good at all, just because the scamp was awful. It barely did any damage, didn't have much health, didn't last very long. So this Faded Wraith lasts for 40 seconds, and he's actually pretty darn beefy. So I can summon stronger monsters. I can summon a Gloom Wraith or a, a Lich, but the I don't want to just because they don't last for very long, so it's not really worth it. And I'm almost going to die to one troll. That's the problem. In, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm going to need him. I'm going to need some potions. <laughs> I was not planning on this being this difficult. <laughs> I thought I'd just run in, you know, get some troll fat and run out. Oh my goodness, there's three trolls now. And I'm stuck in a corner. Where did all these guys come from? This is insane. There's one troll down. Let's take him down. I want to keep them close to my wraith so my wraith can help me kill them. Please don't kill me. Okay, we got the troll fat that we needed, but we need to kill these guys so I don't get owned. And my race is about to expire. So we'll summon a new one. I've been carrying like 20 potions of healing around. I haven't had to use them at all um, until now, obviously, because when you have three trolls on you at once. But I have been doing just fine, but most of what I've been doing is just sneaking around with arrows and shooting people in the back and doing a lot of damage, so I haven't had to worry too much about hand-to-hand -hand combat. But I'm all out of arrows right now because I used them all up. I need to go get some more, buy some more, or something like that. Am I seriously going to die here? Very close to it. Well, I mean, these guys didn't even seem that tough the last time I was here, uh, so they must scale with your level. Because last time I, I was here, I had m I was much lower level and I had much worse uh, stats and all that. And they did not seem very hard last time I was here, so not exactly sure what, what has been going on. Anyway, time to go back to the Shrine of Malkath. Malakath, that's it. Use the troll fat. And that was embarrassing how terrible I did against those trolls, but anyway. So I got the troll fat, what do you want? So I'm going to shut up while he talks. Who brought a present? Good. That's smart. You want something? And if you're smart, you do what I tell you. Lord Brad took my orders. Says he owns them. Lying maggot! Okay, so we have to free Lord Drad's ogre slaves, no, Malakath's ogre slaves from Lord Drad. Um, and the reason why I decided to do with the Daedric quest is just because they have a lot of really cool rewards. In my opinion, uh, the Daedric quests have the coolest rewards in the game, so that is why I wanted to do them. Who has seen me? Who is it? Huh, whatever. We're just gonna have to probably get trespassed. We're gonna trespass and probably get caught by a guard or something, but that's fine. So, do we talk to Lord Drab? Get out of here. I welcome you to my humble home, stranger. Ogre slaves. Can you think of a better use for the mindless beasts? No creature should be a slave. I don't believe I asked for your opinion on this matter. I am done speaking with you. So he decides to be a jerk face. Uh, what does it say I should do in my quest? Perhaps his wife will be more forthcoming. Well, you know, I am a pretty charming guy, so... I think that's... Oh, a potion of insight? I might need that. Insight sounds like something useful. Hello, wife. I'm afraid you've upset my husband. Please, leave... What about the ogres? I can't tell you... Yes, you can. This better be you can tell me about the ogres. Every little bit help. He works them in bleak mines. It's terrible. The guards beat the creatures mercilessly. So we got to go to bleak mine. But we're going to compromise on the whole letting people talk thing. I will let them talk for a little bit, not 
finish their whole sentence because I just I don't know I can't stand it when uh, NPC ca characters talk because I read the sentence like when they're halfway done talking so I don't know it's just annoying but anyway I'll let them talk a little bit and basically if they said anything important I will let you guys know so we'll compromise a bit because uh, some people were saying they didn't want me to you know skip over the people talking anyway the ogre slaves should be in the bleak mine and we gotta free them come on now there we go lock picking is such an incredibly slow skill to train uh... i've decided the skill that i want to train oh my goodness uh oh i must now free malkos ogres does that guy have a daedric battle axe <laughs> i think this guy has a daedric helm oh my goodness i think that's what that is i'm gonna need this and this might help a bit. Oh my goodness. Why is my faded wraith not helping? Oh, I guess he is, kind of. Oh, this guy's the captain. No wonder he's really freaking tough. Yo, I'll never take you down? Wanna bet on it? Uh-oh. Hide, 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 hide. I don't want to die. The thing is, I think I have pretty crappy gear. Uh, this game is kind of designed, if you're level 22 like I am, uh, that you should be having using like enchanted weapons and armor and stuff. Um, and I'm not for the most part. Well, I am using glass, but it's not enchanted. Uh, I have enchanted boots and an enchanted necklace and rings, obviously, but I don't, I don't have like a, a full set of enchanted gear or anything. But these guys look like they have beast gear, so maybe I can loot a bit. Uh, I, even if I find Daedric armor, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, just because I really prefer the light armor, so... I might just stick with the glass, but... Anyway, I really should enchant it or something. This guy is putting up such a fight. Oh, also my shield, I'll show you guys in a second, but it has a pretty cool enchantment on it. There is a really beast shield that you do get from getting the Daedric quest, so I might be using that one. But for the time being, um... Oh, my armor's really low on health, that might help to fix that, but I have a shield of natures and it reflects damage 9% so that's fairly useful I guess but yeah my el elven helmet and gauntlets are broken yeah obviously my helmet and gauntlets are not glass and I really should upgrade those but yeah that's just what I got for the moment but anyway let's let's see the lootage daedric boots daedric helmet ooh daedric helmet is a lot better than an elven helmet so I think I'm gonna switch out here that's the first, these are the first Daedric items I've ever found. I have never found anything Daedric before this. Um, and the ebony is all good, it just weighs a ton. I'll take those Daedric boots though, because they don't weigh much and they're worth a ton. Daedric Curse, Daedric Gauntlets, Daedric Greaves. I know it's Daedric, and I like Daedric, and it's the best armor in the game, but it just weighs so much. Um, I will take the Gauntlets though, because I think that's a huge upgrade over Elven Gauntlets. So I have Daedric Gauntlets and a Daedric Helmet now. And I'm gonna stick with glass for the rest. Um, actually, I might, I might take the. I think I might just go ahead and equip the Daedric boots too, because, yeah, this, these boots are enchanted, but they're just enchanted with Fortify Athletics. So, I mean, that's not all that useful. How much are they? Oh, they're worth a thousand. I better take them then. But this guy has, yeah, more Daedric crap. I had never found Daedric until now. I'm not even kidding about that. So he has a Daedric Battle Axe, which is the first Daedric weapon I've ever found, but I'm not going to take that because it weighs 76 pounds. So, no thank you. Um, but if I find, like, a Daedric Sword or, you know, basically any Daedric weapon that's not two-handed, I will take it. So just so you guys know, just so you don't freak out in the comments or anything, I'm not taking it because it's a two-handed weapon and my two-handed skill is very low. You know what else? What else is low is my health, and of course, if I find a Daedric bow, I'm gonna be very happy. So, <laughs> and I will take that. Uh, sticking with an ebony bow right now. Oh, I missed. I have one arrow left. Skadoosh. Okay, let's bring it. Oh, does this guy? This guy looks like he has a Daedric sword, so I will be taking that, if that is indeed the case. So they're hitting my Faded Wraith, which there isn't much point of doing that, obviously, because the Faded Wraith is invulnerable to melee damage. You can only hurt it with magic. 
or enchant weapons. But anyway, yeah, not much point of hitting the faded wraith with an unenchanted sword. Actually, this guy may have an enchanted sword, unless it's sometimes the faded your fa own faded wraith hits you with his spells. That's really annoying. Daedric longsword. Ooh, it weighs a ton, but it's just so worth it. So let's see. This elven short sword does nine damage. The Daedric Longsword does 14 damage. So that's a huge upgrade. We'll definitely be taking that. Got anything else? Shiny Ogre Cage Key. What's the difference between a Shiny Ogre Cage Key and a Tarnished Ogre Cage Key? But anyway, I'm really sorry that, like, I just went from, you know, wearing Elven and stuff to all of a sudden going up to Daedric. Uh, as I said, you know, I've been in the low 20s in level for, you know, a couple hours of gameplay, and this is the first time I've ever seen weapons and armor this good, so I'm not sure where this all came from, but whatever. But of course, um, you can always get, like, better enchanted armor and enchanted weapons and stuff, so this is... I freed one group of ogres? How did I free one group of ogres? What did I do to free them? I guess I just walked over here and they're free. Ebony dagger, no thanks. Eh, actually, actually, you know, those things don't weigh much and they are worth a fair amount, so. I'll just kill this guard. Hopefully the ogres don't attack me. Maybe it says that they f you freed the ogres so that they don't fight you. I think I'm going to start taking ogre boots and gloves. Please don't attack me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they somehow know that I'm on their side. I'm going to start taking Daedric Boots and Gloves, though, because they uh, they are going to sell for close to a 1,000 coins each. Um, and they don't weigh too much. Let's see if there's anything in this chest. But anyway, from now on, the loot that I'm getting should be a lot better. Uh, obviously, what I'm looking for now is not uh, higher tier items, but items with better enchantments on them, um, which can be much more difficult to find, because enchanted items are pretty rare or at least ones with good enchantments. There's always the occasional, like, you'll find Daedric Gloves enchanted with water breathing. Oh, great, you know. That's really helpful, but, um, I'm being sarcastic, obviously. It's not helpful at all. Um, but, yeah, items with really good enchantments on them are very rare, and I items are just so expensive to enchant yourself that I don't think it's worth it. It's not like Skyrim where you can level up your enchanting skill and get really beast enchantments. Uh, it's not like that at all. You kind of have to... Uh, can I open this? Yep, you're free. I freed all the ogres. Okay. You're free, guys. Chest, gold, boring. Okay, there's only three ogres over here? Alright. Well, anyway, I freed all of Malakath's ogres, so we have to go back to him and see what we get as reward. Hopefully something awesome. Um, I don't remember what Malakath's reward is. Uh, I don't remember what hardly any of the Daedric rewards are. I know one of them gives you the shield that reflects spells. Um, can't remember which one it is. I think Azura gives you the Azura Star, which is the unlimited soul gem. Anyway, I'm going to shut up while I talk to this guy. Good job. No one owns ogres but me! And I fixed that maggot. The ogres own drag. Make drag eat death. <laughs> now you get a present. Keep up the good work. And be nice to my little brothers. Oh, great. He awarded me with Volendrung, which I'm a bit afraid, yeah, it weighs a ton. So, um, blunt weapon, paralyzed for 3 seconds on strike, drain health 5 points for 20 seconds on strike. Those are really good. Those are some very, very good enchantments. So, if I ever decide to use two-hand weapons in the future, um, I might try out that one. I don't think it does a whole lot of base damage. Yeah, it only does 4 base damage, but... At the same time, drain health, that does damage. Um, and the paralyze, of course, is very useful as well. So I gotta go drop some stuff off already. Uh, it won't take long, I can do this very fast. But uh, obviously, with that 60 pound hammer that he just gave me, that's gonna really hurt my uh, carrying space. So, quickly, I always drop off the alchemy ingredients first time I come in. 
potatoes. I'm not sure where I got all these alchemy ingredients from. I wasn't actually out adventuring for too long this time. But I should really make a chest where I store, like, really cool quest items. I don't think I have one yet. Uh, I've just kind of been putting stuff in here. Uh, this is my sell slash keep stuff chest. So if there's anything, um, any armor or weapons that I pick up that I need to sell and I don't really want to do it right now, uh, I usually put them in here. So let's first of all get some arrows. I'm just going to store all the elven and good arrows first. I'm trying to save up all like my glass and ebony arrows uh, for late game. So we'll take the let's see how many steel arrows, steel arrows and the silver arrows, and we'll use those for the time being. Would be really cool if I could find a Daedric bow in the next dungeon. I can't remember if the next Daedric quest that we're going to do uh, it is in a dungeon or not, but I don't think it is. Obviously, that last dungeon, none of those guys were archers. So Malakath is done. Uh, the next shrine should be Meridia. So let's go there. I'm not sure if she's going to ask for some kind of flower or something, so we can do her quest. Or something like troll fat. Ooh, I'll harvest those. I do not have the proper offering she requires. Well, what is it? What business do you have with Meridia, Lady of Infinite Energies? Is he calling me Lady of Infinite Energies? Because that'd be weird, because I'm a guy. The spark of life is within you, and you are welcome here at Meridia's shrine. Leave an offering at this shrine. Meridia. Oh, she wants bone meal. Well, she said remains of the undead, so I'm guessing that's bone meal. Something from the corpse of an undead creature. Yeah, I'm guessing that's going to be bone meal or mort flesh or... Uh, I don't know what... Ectoplasm? I do believe it's bone meal that you actually have to get for this, this certain shrine here. Which is weird, because that's like a really, really common ingredient. You can kill, you know, stuff that drops bone meal at level 1 if you want to. Anyway... Whatever. We'll pick her up some bone meal. If it's not bone meal, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really am. Luckily, I had some. I remember using a lot of bone meal not very long ago. I went on a huge alchemy spree, and since then I've been saving up, so now I have a ton of alchemy ingredients. I'm just going to save them all up until I have enough to... I don't know about get to level 100, but at least enough to get to about level 75, and then I'll use them again. But there's no point in really using my alchemy ingredients and getting like 5 levels, because you... This game is not like Skyrim. In this game, you have to make a bazillion potions to level up. But anyway, let's offer the bum meal and shut up. By the detritus of the profane, I am brought forth. And by your offering, you have made the profane your interest mortal. The undead offend unnatural things. Some of my rivals take pleasure in these abominations. Not Meridia. I wish these creatures destroyed. Hidden behind a door, deep in Howling Cave, are necromancers. They hold graves for the materials to raise their undead armies. Find these necromancers. Destroy them and their abominations. Do this, and earn the gratitude of Meridia. Okay, Meridia appeared and spoke to me. She also has like an Irish accent or a Scottish accent. I can't. I think it's an Irish accent. I don't know. I don't really talk to any Irish or Scottish people, but I think she's asking us to go kill necromancers. I couldn't hear very well. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Take this ring and go with my blessing. Okay, quest complete. Hey, I think it's the fastest anyone's done a Daedric quest before. But, <laughs> wow. I think how that happened is I was supposed to kill the necromancers in Howling Peak Cave. Uh, I'm not sure where that is. I don't think it's around here. Oh, this cave, Howling Cave. Yeah, I remember this one. This cave, I did that off camera because I was... Trying, I was going to go through a few dungeons. Basically, I was looking for better armor, which I eventually found. But um, the monsters in that cave were ridiculously hard. That is the hardest dungeon I have done ever in this game. Ever. So, 
with that being said, yeah. I did clear out that cave, and I guess that counts as the quest being complete, even though the monsters do respawn and everything. So we got the Ring of the Kajidi. Chameleon, 35% on self, 45 speed, 10, per 10 points on self. So that, that means you'll walk a lot faster, um, and it'll also make you sneak a little bit better because of the chameleon. Uh, I wouldn't want to wear it, though, and this is the reason why. You look invisible. You're not invisible. If you were completely invisible, yeah, it'd be a baller ring, but um, you're not invisible. You're only much harder to detect, but it, it still has a very annoying fact of making your character look invisible, so that's why I don't want to actually use this ring. The rings I am using are resist fire 100% on self, and resist shock 20% on self, and that's just because I haven't been able to find a better ring uh, than the resist shock 20%. Obviously, resist fire 100% is awesome. And if I could find a resist shock 100%, that would be very awesome. Um, but anyway, we'll move on to the next shrine here, which I believe is to the north. The Shrine of Sanguine. And you get Sanguine's Rose from this one, which is pretty awesome. Um, I can't exactly remember what it is. I just remember that it's awesome. But I'm sure you guys all know what Sanguine's Rose is. In tell or if you've done this quest before or in Skyrim it's the same thing there's Sanguine's Rose in Skyrim as well so let's oh he needs an offering too okay sup why was she bowing down have you come to revel in the glory that is the shrine of Sanguine no I've just come to do a quest oh you May trade interest you, in some of you have nothing to sell and five gold to buy stuff with why do you even exist it is a place of celebration for us we dance we make love. Would you speak with Sanguine? Approach Awkward. And bring Sanguine a gift. Some Cyrodelic brandy. Cyrodelic brandy. Where am I going to get Cyrodelic brandy? Oh. Well, he said something about making love, and there's... Ugh, I don't want to think about that. Anyway, uh, I believe Cyrodelic brandy is one of those really, really common... Uh, alcoholic drinks that you can get, so I might even have some just laying around on the tables of my house. I'm not sure, though. But yeah, I believe Cyrodelic Brandy is like one of the most common ones. I know cheap wine is the most common drink you can find. Uh, but there is some wine bottles in my house, both upstairs and in the downstairs as well. Vintage 414, 415 and Surly Brothers Ale. Uh, neither of those are Surly Delic Brandy. I think I might have some down here, though. If not, I'm going to have to go off camera and try to discover some. I'm not exactly sure where one would find Surly Delic Brandy. Oh, lots of wine here. Anything? Cheap wine? It's all the Temecula Brothers or the Surly Brothers. Or Temecula's West Wheeled Wine or the Surly Brothers. All I need is Cyrodelic Brandy. Come on. Where is it? Uh, I'm not seeing it here. Do I have any more alcohol? It's my own house. I should know where my alcohol is, but I don't. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Chest? Shovel. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go, um, I guess, work on this off camera. So I'll be right back once I find some Cyrodelic Brandy. Alright, so the Gilded Carafe is supposed to have Cyrodelic Brandy for sale. Apparently. This is what it says on the Elder Scrolls wiki. So. I have everything for the budding alchemist under one roof. I'm glad that you feel that way. In some of my ways? Huh. If you had a expert Alembic, that would be very interesting. You bought that for a song. 153 gold for a Cyrodelic Brandy? That's a bit of a ripoff. I'm kind of tempted to buy everything here. I don't believe they stock Nern roots. Anyway. Another satisfied customer. Yeah, I am satisfied because I didn't have to, I don't know, wait a couple days or anything dumb like that. So let's go back to Sanguine, give him some liquor, and hopefully he'll cheer up a bit and give us a quest. See you like Brandy. Ah, another mortal. Come to beg Sanguine to add a bit of spice to an otherwise drab existence. I would have you perform a service for me. 
The castle lay a win is a dull, dreary place. The mistress is an especially somber soul, and tomorrow she will hold another excruciating dinner party. I want you to liven it up. Use this spell on the countess and her guests. I think it will make the party much more interesting. You should probably try to be inconspicuous, or they might kill you. Oh, and the party is by invitation only. You'll have to find a way in. Have fun. Well, that guy was clearly voice acted by just some random guy around the office that day. <laughs> Anyway, I mean, this game is obviously pretty famous for not having a vast amount of voice actors do all the voices, but that guy was obviously not a professional voice actor, I'll just say that, you know. I'm sure he's very good at whatever job he has, but let's just say he should not ever try to do that again. Anyway, we got to sneak into the Castle Leowen during the night, well, whenever the party is. Ooh, where is it? Do I have to go in here? I cannot open... Why can't I open this door? Is this where I need to go? Hold on. There's a dinner party. And no one gets in the room, even after it's prepared, unless they're on the list. And even if they're on... This is important. Okay. Can I be on the list? Welcome to Leia with... In the... I don't think she's gonna let me in. Hello. I am Ladora. I assist her list. I just wanna go to the dinner party. Uh obviously I don't exactly remember how to get in. I know I mean you gotta sneak in or something. I believe that's what you gotta do, is you gotta sneak in. Um I just don't exactly remember how to do that. Ooh. You gotta get through this door. Hmm. Anyway, you either have to dress up and then bribe the guard, or you have to sneak in. I can't remember which one it is. But anyway, I'll be back once I figure it out. Okay, so apparently you just have to wait till 6 p.m. And I'm sorry that he's growing purple, glowing at purple. Uh, but you can just bribe him a bit and say, hey, I seem like a really good person. You can go in. Sorry to have bothered you. Man, I wish all guards were like that. Well, you seem like a really good person, so just head on in. It's fine. Yeah, this does seem like a pretty lame dinner party. So, what we're going to do to liven it up a bit is use this spell that Sanguine gave us, which I'm not sure where it is. Stark Reality, this is it. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to get busted for this. But let's let's go. Well now, what do we have here? Caught in the act and no gold. I have gold. Uh oh. This could be bad. <laughs> Does that still count as me completing the quest? I d I don't know. Okay, so the game crashed for the first time. I'm a little bit pleasantly surprised, but anyway, I found this awesome person. Ma Mazoga the Orc, she's in full Daedric. Well, no helmet, no gauntlets, but other than that, full Daedric, but anyway. Are you the Count? You're a liar. You don't even look like a Count. She has a very pointless conversation. The count? Then go away. <laughs> if you tell her you're the Count, she says, no, you're not. And if you tell her you're not the Count, then she says, go away. So, anyway, I thought that was a bit funny. But we're just going to wait till 6 p.m. Good to see you. I guess one more hour. Bribe the guard again and then go away. Or go in. What are you doing? I don't look like a party guest, huh? See, Maybe a little gold will change your mind. Well, you're dressed for it, and you seem like a really good person. You can go in. Sorry to have bothered you. I seem like a really good person. So anyway, what the Stark reality does, well. Good to see you. Okay, there's no guards in here right now. Maybe that is the key to success. Stark reality. If only I could use Ghost Walk 
it would make this so much easier. But I don't have enough um, Magicka, and I can't fortify my own Magicka because I, I need 50 restoration. Actually, what restoration level am I? 45. Yeah, I was going to say, if I'm like 49 restoration or something, maybe, maybe I could. But anyway, there is a guard. Oh, ho, ho. But anyway, uh, if you don't have the invisibility spell, this can be quite difficult. But I think if I'm not hit by the Stark Reality spell, it won't take away my gold again. So, we'll try it. I'm going to save first, just in case the game crashes again. Okay, return to game. Boom! Son. So yeah, now everyone's naked. Eh, let me out. <laughs> but basically, yeah, the Stark Reality just... Uh, what about... Did all my gold go away too? Was I hit by the Stark Reality? Yes, I was. All of my gold went away. Crap. All my items went away too. So, I don't think that's a permanent change. Oh, yeah, I lost my lockpick too, obviously. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, everything's gone. Yeah, so everyone's naked. That's basically what the Stark Reality spell did. I gotta run. Run, run. Naked running man. <laughs> well, I mean, I still have my, uh... I guess the guards are fighting the dinner guests. That's a bit odd. I think the guards are hostile to me, but it'd be pretty funny if I could just fast travel away. Yeah, the guards are still hostile to me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll go to jail. All your possessions have been conf confiscated by the guards. I will get them back when you've served your sentence. Okay. You can also escape from jail. I believe you're given... You're supposed to be given some lockpicks when you go in jail. Guess I'm not... Okay, so if the game crashes again, this will be bad. I'm going to use a different bed, and hopefully... Fingers crossed. Okay, the game did not crash. I got all my stuff back, right? Oh. Hopefully Sanguine gives my stuff back, because otherwise, this could be a very bad time. I'm not sure what to do. Like, I didn't think that uh, spell, Stark Reality, hit me, because I was pretty far away from it, but I'm not even sure. Let's see. Does he give my stuff back? A rousing success, mortal. And it appears you joined in the festivities as well. Good for you. You need to lighten up a bit. You'll find your equipment in that chest over there. And here's a little something for your efforts. Maybe we'll celebrate again sometime. I could hear combat going on in the back background here. What are they fighting? A wolf? Why is this guy in full Daedric now? Last time I was here, he was like in robes. Everyone is now in full Daedric. <laughs> so thankfully, all my stuff is in this, in this chest here. So I was freaking out for a second there. I was like, holy crap, you stole all my stuff. But nope. Luckily, that was not the case. That was the most boss chest I've ever seen. But we get the Sanguine Rose now, um, which basically turns stuff into random things. Like, you can... Uh, hit a person with it, and it'll like turn them into a chicken or something like that. So, if you're into that sort of thing, I believe that's what it does. I'm not 100% sure. We could try it out. Sanguine Rose. So it looks kind of crappy, obviously, but let's see. Is it okay if I hit one of these people with it, or will they all attack me? Whatever. Give it a shot. Oh, it summons random things. That's what it does. Every time you use it, it summons, like, random monsters. I think I have to do all... Yeah, I have to do my keybinds again. Keybind Daedric Longsword. But anyway, we don't need these people anymore since the quest is over anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I just summoned a clan fear, and it's an actual clan fear. It's not like a summoned clan fear. Oh, never mind. It isn't an actual clan fear. I lied. So, this, I, I didn't have to kill them, obviously, but I mean... My summon monster attacked them, so there wasn't a whole lot I can do. Why was this guy wearing Daedric, and now he has nothing on him? 
maybe that was just bound armor. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode, guys. This is going to be about it. And uh, when we come back to the next episode, we'll do the next stage request. Anyway, that was kind of interesting, this one. And uh, yeah, farewell.